you forget we got short little legs? Get ready for giant adventures. Oh, it's the babies. All right, 90s kids, this one is for you and your little ones. Some of the most recognizable animated characters are back. Rugrats is coming back to Paramount Plus with season two. And here to tell us all about it are some of the stars. And I don't know about you, but I have nieces and nephews who lived and loved this show from Angelica to all the cute little babies and all the crazy antics they got into. And of course, it led to some very popular movies and very popular TV shows. So very excited to talk to the voices of iconic Tommy Pickles and voiceover royalty. Uh, Tara Strong returning to the franchise's fan favorite, Dill Pickles, and EJ Daly with us as well. So first off, thank you guys for being here. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having us. Absolutely. Like and Angelica is not very nice, you know. <laughs> I love how you guys can do that as voiceover artists. Go back and forth with your voices and your characters. Is that just something you sort of like dial in? Oh yeah. yeah. Once we create a character, they live up in our brain and we use them whether we're on the show or not. We, we, we do voices all the time. <laughs> I bet that has to be fun when you meet fans of the show and they have no idea maybe what you look like in person, but when they hear your voice, have you experienced that? EG, just having that moment of someone like, wait a second. Oh my gosh. Yeah. People will do a con and someone will come up to the table with, let's say their mom and They'll be like, oh my God, you're the voice of my childhood. And then the friend next to them is like, who are you? And then you'll be like, who are you? And then they're like, oh, you know, it's just such a sweet thing to watch people lose it when they hear the voices. She also I, messes with people at drive throughs okay? Do you really? All. Yeah, of course, that's the best. That's the most fun when you're like, I gotta order french fry feed and a side of ketchup. And then they'll be like, <laughs> yeah, it's really sweet. It's really sweet. And sometimes people cry because it just, it just sort of taps into a part of them that just, I don't know, it just it just puts them back to this beautiful, sweet, vulnerable place from when they were young, let's say, watching it, and it just mm -hmm. moved them because they got to be part of something that was familiar, and, and then they get to feel it again, and now they're feeling it even bigger because of the CGI. It just is a really precious thing to get to be a part of. And I love that because you can share things that maybe you enjoyed as a kid with your children now and these characters, you know, really represent the wonder and whimsy of so many child and just the natural things that kids do, which is kind of probably fun about playing the characters. It's so true. You know, Arlene and Gabor base the show on watching their own children and how messy life really is. And of course, Rugrats was the first in animation, maybe still the only one to showcase a Jewish family, a black family and LGBTQ members. And it's like it's like this beautiful community that all humans, all they all come together, regardless of the color of their skin or who they worship. And they're all these babies and characters that they grow and love. And, you know, representation matters. So kids growing up to be able to see themselves on this very popular, beautiful cartoon and now seeing it in the new version in CG, which is bigger and even more beautiful and potential for even like bigger adventures is so wonderful. So what kind of what are some of the adventures that they'll be having this year? Well, I think um... You know, there, Rugrats is always coming up with these really spectacular adventures. I don't want to give away too many, but I will say that they look more spectacular than ever. Like, you know, we always see, like, it's the secret life of children into the eyes of children and babies. And, um, I just think, you know, there's something like, I, literally every time I see a little clip or I have to do some voiceover thing, I get to see what they're doing with the wardrobe and the costumes and the mud and the grass and the rain. and. It just feels so tactile and gritty now, only with the same beautiful stories. And the biggest part of this this new season is, which I'm super grateful for and happy, is that we get to have Tara back, which mm -hmm. is my baby brother gets to come back. And that's a really exciting thing, having a new baby come back to the family. And I think the fans have all been waiting and asking, like, is Dill coming back? Is baby Dill coming back? And so here she is. You got to yeah. have baby Dill back. We also have some great guest stars this season. We have that Nicole Brown's coming in. She's really wonderful. So the adventures are just bigger and better. And Oh, we're so excited. I cannot wait to show this interview to my kids, too. They're going to be like, wait a second, Mom. Who did you talk to? This is so cool. Thank you guys for hanging out with us. Rugrats Season 2 premieres this Friday on Paramount+. Plus. And